are very marrow, the very visceral, personal trauma and the political attacks that come in the form of appointments, that come in the form and that are in the form of what's happening in that place called Washington, D.C. The real political attacks on our families, the legitimization of a new and burgeoning neo-Nazi movement, the real life COINTEL PRO promise of V2 surveillance on black activists who had the audacity to develop a lexicon promising human dignity of the grandchildren of the enslaved. The right here, the right now, the promise of a literal end of democracy. Well, this is Oakland. And as we move in the streets and we fight back decades of long fights to humanize queer families, as we move every single day in our minds to stay, to survive, we must remind ourselves as students of historical movements that is the insurgency below that creates victory. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I stand with you all today as a mother as an organizer, yes, as an elected official, I did that too. But my life's work now is working for a small organization right here in Oakland that has been around for 17 years with the prime focus and mission to sprinkle a little water on those insurgents, those leaders all around this town who have decided to survive amidst oppression like feet in the neck of their youngest children. The insurgents, the folks who ridiculously believe in deep East Oakland and West Oakland that they deserve to live. That their young boys deserve to walk down the street and not fall victim to fratricide a symptom and a condition of horrific capitalism. Now see, insurgent leadership, if we think about it, working for this organization, I'm working for this beautiful place. We have been providing supports for organizations in Oakland who again believe that we ain't going nowhere. I'm here to tell three stories about my work in this organization. In Oakland, California, less than 60% of African-American young men graduate from high school each year. That means 40% of the black boys who come into this school here will not cross this stage. Black children in Oakland will live 15 years less than their white counterparts. So what have insurgent leaders done? Now, we are in Oakland. We know that this is the birthplace of the Black Panthers, whose main mission was not only to defend themselves from police officers, who saw them as less than human, but to feed children and to organize parents to call on a new wave of leadership and demand that education actually taught their children. The Akhenati Foundation is supporting an organization who has similar virtues. I want to talk about PLAN. 
It's a group led by a West Oakland mother with three babies attending Oakland schools who is bringing together monolingual Spanish-speaking women and African-American women who have babies at schools like this who have demanded that education as we know it in Oakland should and must and can be revolutionized, to be one that prioritizes children who have the most to lose. Not only is this group winning, they worked with a coalition of other organizations to bring forth the city's first African-American superintendent, woman from Oakland. <laughs> the insurgent leaders who may not speak the language of the day, but who feel the power and the human calling to dig their feet in the soil in, of Oakland for generations to come. We celebrate those insurgent mothers, those fathers and those children who decided that Oakland is theirs. We think of organizations like Eastside Arts Alliance, an organization that, like many others in Oakland, have dug their feet in the soil and who have said, these walls are ours. This land is ours. Let us bring culture and make revolution feel irresistible by the beat of the drum and the beauty of the paint on the wall when we think of how we fight moving forward. We think of institutions all around this great city who storm City Hall begging for a new light of day. In the last year alone, nearly 100 young people were slaughtered on our streets. More combined than our recent fires in the North Bay. More than those who lost their lives in the hurricane in Puerto Rico. I ask you all now to think about how we show up for an Oakland that is truly about the people, where no one sleeps on cement and where children can actually live a real life. Our work today moves forward in small organizations that provide resources to movement organizations, we know that that's not enough. As we move forward, children of Oakland, I ask you all to be insurgent and demand that this city be a true democracy, the legacy of those men and women who continue and have put their bodies on the line for the freedom of black and brown and immigrant children. No longer can we and must we wait for folks in big offices with keys and badges to make decisions about how we live. It is absolutely that mother in East Oakland and absolutely that old man who sells tacos on the side of the street on East 14th, and it is exactly that child who has been kicked out of school who must make the pathway for our new city because they have the most to lose and I will say the most to give. Oakland. We cannot move through or arrest our way or legislate our way out of the tarnish of nearly 500 years of racialized oppression with laws. It will take movement and it will take voice. And I ask all of us to step back and stop waiting for that person to save us. Because guess what? It's us. Let's go, Oakland.